Hello everyone, this is Supriya Ambarkar, Assistant Professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department at Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we are going to discuss a topic on service models of cloud computing. The learning outcome of this topic are, at the end of this session, the students will be able to explain the different service models of cloud computing the students will be able to identify the different service providers of service models. So, the cloud computing services are deployed broadly into the three business models such as software as a service that is in SaaS, platform as a service that is PaaS, infrastructure as a service that is in AaaS. So, we will see the details of these models in the next slide. Now here, we will discuss the cloud service model architecture. Uh, first one is in software as a service, that is in SaaS applications are designed for end users and delivered over the web. The platform as a service, that is in PaaS, is the set of tools, services designed to make coding and deploying applications quickly and differently. The third one, that is an infrastructure as a service, as here the hardware, software that powers all servers, storage, networks and operating systems. Here in this slide, we will see the cloud service models in detail such as service class, its main access, management tools and service contents. The first service class are SaaS, PaaS, AaaS and accordingly to the service class SaaS, the main access and management tool is web browser and service contents for this class comes under the category cloud applications in which social network offices and suits, CRM, video, uh, processing etc is going to cover according to the second service class pass the main access and management tool is cloud development environment and service contents for this class comes under the category cloud platform in which programming languages frameworks mashup editors structured data etc is going to cover the last service class is in us here, the main access and management tool is virtual infrastructure manager and service contents for this class comes under the category cloud infrastructure in which compute servers, <coughs> data storage, firewall, load balancer, etc. is going to cover. Here in this slide, we will see the details of software as a service the introduction software as a service is defined as a software that is deployed over the internet SaaS provide a licenses an application to the customers either as a service on demand through a description in a pay as you go model and at no charge when there is an opportunity to generate revenue from streams other than the users such as from advertisements or user list sales the examples like uh, Google Apps the list of characteristics of SaaS are as follows the first characteristic is web access to commercial software software is managed from central location software is delivered in one to many model users not required to handle software upgrades and patches. The APIs allow for integration between different pieces of software. Now second pass platform as a service. The introduction is here. The pass can be defined as a computing platform which allows the creation of web. The consumer does not manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructures including networks, servers, operating systems or different storages. But 
it has a control over the deployed applications and possibly configuration settings for the applications hosting environments pass is a platform for the creation of software delivered over the web examples of this particular is we can say in terms of windows azure the characteristics of pass here services to develop test deploy host and maintain applications web based user interface creation tools it has a multi tenant architecture it build in scalability of deployed software integration with web services and databases tools to handle billing and subscription management then the we will see the third infrastructure as a service introduction it is a way of delivering cloud computing infrastructure such as servers different storages networks operating systems as on demand service rather than purchasing servers software data center space or network equipments the client instead by those resources as a fully outsourced service on demand so examples of the infrastructure as a service like a windows ec2 in this slide we will describe the characteristics of infrastructure as a service here <coughs> resources are distributed as a services it allows for dynamic scaling it has a variable cost utility pricing model generally it includes multiple users on a single piece of hardware now pause a video and write it down your answer state the different service providers of service models of cloud computing here are the list of service providers first we will see the software as a service providers so salesforce.com google that is and gmail process maker live x drive smugbug opsource appine anywhere box.net max cloud so these are the list of providers the concern software its pricing model they have shown in front of that particular providers so for an example um, gmail account or the gmail or in terms of a google service provider that is in software will require the email and pricing model in terms of that is in free for in terms of the process maker live it is an business process management software it will be pricing model in terms of pay per use x drive it's having a software storage the pricing model should be subscription as per the requirement smugma data sharing then description opsource its software is in billing it's having again the pricing model in terms of the subscription basis appine anywhere it's also having a business process management software pay per use so this is an pricing model for box.net it's having a software like a storage pay per use max cloud it's having a data processing pay per use second is an pass providers here uh, aneka app engine force.com azure heroku amazon elastic map reviews so these are the list of providers and according to this particular providers we are having a target to use programming language frameworks which we want to prefer like a dot net python java apex ruby on rails or etc then programming models will be required like a threads task map reduce request based web program programming workflow request based web programming in terms of the excel like formula language and restricted skew or softwares then uh, preferences options are there the flat uh, flat flies are there rdbms big tables etc third we will see the infrastructure as a service providers here the list of providers are amazon e2c then the flexiskels go grid joint rack space the geographical distribution of the data centers are the us europe uk us 
user interfaces and APIs are the CLI, WS Portal, Web Console, REST, Java, PHP, Python, Ruby, Portal, .NET. Hardware capacity are like a CPU, what is the requirement, then in terms of memory, in terms of storage. Guest operating system will be the Linux, Linux Windows, Open uh, Solaris, and etc. Smallest building units are there in terms of hours, in terms of months we can provide. Now in this slide, we will discuss one example of service models of cloud computing. Imagine the industry transportation system, even though all these roads build, but they would not be useful without cars and trucks to transport people and goods. So here the roads are the infrastructure, cars and trucks are the platforms and that sits on the top of the infrastructure <coughs> and transports the people and goods. These goods and people might be considered the software and the information in the technical realm. So this is one of the live example of cloud service models. Here are few references which I have referred for this particular topic. Thank you one and all. Thank you.